In the last session, we have learned case two of sacrifice ratio, wherein old share and new share of the old partners are given. In this session, let us start with the last case three, wherein old ratio, new partner share, and also states the problem also states the ratio in which the remaining profit is shared. What we also call as agreed ratio is given. Let's see how to solve it. Step one, remaining profit. If you could remember, in calculating the new profit sharing ratio, we are taken up remaining profit. Total profit minus new partner share. New partner share will be usually in fraction. So total profit should be always assumed as one. If that is in percentage, profit has to be 100. But the base for fraction is always one. Now, remaining profit. Total profit which we take as 1 minus the new partner share. Step 2. New share of old partners is not given. We have to find out. How to find out? Remaining profit distribute either in old ratio or in agreed ratio. In this case, agreed ratio is given. So, don't distribute in old ratio. We will distribute that in agreed ratio. Step 3. Share sacrifice. Old share minus new share. The same step that is seen in the last case. Let us see the problem number 15. P and Q are the partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 7 is to 5. Old ratio. They admit R into the partnership and give him one fourth share. P and Q agree to share the remaining profit in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Calculate the sacrifice ratio. Now let's see. The old ratio given to you is 7 is to 5. New partner share is 1 by 4. Agreed is 2 is to 1. Now let's see how to solve this. Here. With, by using the same steps. Step 1. Remaining profit. Total profit assumed is 1. New partner share is 1 by 4. LCM 4. Multiply this by 4 and this by 1. So what? the remaining profit we get is 3 by 4. Now we will find out the new share of old partners. How do we do that? Who are the old partners first? P and Q. P and Q. Remaining profit multiplied with the agreed ratio. What is the remaining profit? 3 by 4. 3 by 4. This will distribute in the agreed ratio. What agreed ratio is given in the problem? 2 is to 1. What we get as 2 by 3 and 1 by 3. When you multiply, there is no LCM. Huh? 3 into 2, 6. 4 into 3 will be 12. Again here, 3 divided by 12. We got the new share. Once you get the new share, old share we know. From the old share, we minus the new share. We get the share sacrificed. Here. Of P and of Q. What is the old ratio? 7 is to 5. That is 7 by 12. And 5 upon 12. From this we will minus the new share. 6 upon 12 and 3 upon 12. Denominator is 12. So the LCM will be 12. So 7 minus 6. What we get? is 1 by 12. Here again the LCM is 12. 5 minus 3. What we get is 2 by 12. Once you get the share sacrifice, we will put that in the ratio. That is, sacrifice ratio of old partners P and Q. How much P has sacrificed? 1 by 12. How much Q has sacrificed? 2 by 12. No need of LCM as the denominator is same. So what ratio we get is 1 is to 2. This is how we solve case 3. So let us take up problem number 16. A and B are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Old ratio 2 is to 1. They admit C into the partnership and give him 1 sixth share. That is going to be the new partner share. A and B agreed to share the remaining profits in the ratio of 3 to 2. Agreed ratio is also given. Again, the same step 1, step 2 and step 3. Let us see how to do that. 
first remaining profit 1 minus the share of new partner 1 by 6 LCM 6 multiply this by 6 and this by 1 what we get is 6 minus 1 nothing but remaining profit is 5 by 6 that remaining profit will distribute among the old partners in their agreed ratio so that's going to be for A and B the remaining profit 5 upon 6 this 5 upon 6 we distribute what is the agreed what is the agreed ratio 3 is to 2 that is going to be 3 upon 5 the total of ratio 2 upon 5 multiplication 5 into 3 15 6 into 5 30 5 2 size 10 and 6 5 size 30 we got the new share now share sacrificed old share minus new share old share is nothing but the old ratio what is the old ratio 2 is to 1 let us subtract that for a and b old ratio 2 is to 1 that is nothing but 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 from this will minus the new share that we have calculated that is going to be 15 divided by 30 and 10 divided by 30 3 and 30 very simple LCM is 30 30 divided by 3 multiply this by 10 and this by 1 so what we get is 20 minus 15 we can simplify this and take or else keep it as it is that's going to be 5 divided by 30 again LCM here is 30 divided by 3 10 divided by 31 so what we get is 10 minus 10 nothing but 0 divided by 30 what does this suggest you 0 divided by 30 means B has not sacrificed anything towards the new partner entire sacrifice is done only by A so when you put up the ratio so the ratio 5 by 30 is to 0 by 30 is nothing but 5 is to 0 which suggests you that B has not sacrificed anything entire sacrifice is done by A this is how we calculate the sacrifice ratio three cases we have used now from examination point of view when you talk about these ratios we get these ratios for 5 marks now what a ratio we might get that will see when we proceed with the admission how the allocation of marks will be done in this session we have learned case 3 how to calculate sacrifice ratio in the next session we shall learn the valuation of goodwill thank you